Hi, I'm Nikon Ambassador and professional photographer Lucas Skillman. I'm looking forward to shooting the solar eclipse in August and I want to help you set up your camera to capture this once in a lifetime event with some general settings and guidelines. Before we start, I want to remind you that you need to have the appropriate solar filters for your eyes and your lenses in order to safely view the sun. Never ever look directly into the sun without proper protection. Also, note that the lighting conditions will vary widely so there is no magic exposure, but we're going to help you get the right one. First, we're going to do a close-up shot of the sun at totality. You'll only have a few minutes to capture this amazing event, so make sure you practice first on a sunny day with your solar filters on. This is important. You can only take the solar filter off at the time of totality if you are in the path. If you're not, keep your filters on. I like using a long lens such as the Nikkor 200 to 500 millimeter lens with a 1.4 teleconverter. I want to be in manual mode with manual focus and I turn the lens to infinity and turn VR off. Aperture should be wide. For me, I'm going to be about f8. There is no one right answer for shutter speed. For totality, the sky will be dark. So you'll want to use a slower shutter speed. I'm going to start around 1 60th of a second and bracket my shots between two seconds and one one thousandth of a second to give myself good variation. If you've never bracketed before, this is a good time to practice. Bracketing is a feature on a lot of Nikon cameras that lets you automatically shoot multiple frames at different shutter speeds for different exposures. If your camera doesn't have bracketing, don't worry. Shoot multiple shots and adjust your shutter speeds accordingly. Try different combinations of exposures, but start with lower shutter speeds first at totality. For many of us, we won't be in the path of totality, but that's okay. Photographing the crescent can be just as great. Remember, always have your filter on. For a close-up shot of the crescent, use a manual focus. I'm gonna start to say 1 800th of a second and adjust the shutter speed accordingly to the desired effect. Aperture can be anywhere from 5.6 to f8 at a low ISO such as 200. What am I gonna do for the eclipse? I wanna capture something more creative. I like to do a composite of a couple exposures using my in-camera image overlay. Be creative and experiment with your camera's modes to find your best creative shot. For example, use multiple exposures to track the sun through the sky, or create a time lapse to trace the full path of the eclipse. Most importantly, while you're shooting, don't forget to enjoy this amazing experience. Good luck, stay safe. For more information, check out Nikon's Learn and Explore page.